Welcome to Talent Tutorial for Salesforce. Uh, okay, let's begin. Go to the Salesforce. Uh, go to Settings. And make sure that you have access to your security token. If not, uh, you should reset it. Next step. Uh, in this example, we'll deploy account and then we will deploy contact that have a lookup to account. So uh, what do we need? We need field that is called external ID and should be this type text uh, 18 length uh, external ID and unique case sensitive. We should have this field uh, on each record contact and account on both orgs so we should create this field four times let's go to the talent D let's configure our connections name Org one important information if you are using sandbox environment you should use test.salesforce Let's create another connection. Next step, we should go to uh, project properties and move hash input and hash output to our palette. Let's create job to deploy accounts first. So create job account. We should drag our connections, Salesforce connection. Okay, uh, right mouse button trigger sub job. Okay. Now we should use Salesforce input Salesforce tab drag it here let's call this account query again trigger on subject ok uh, which component we are retrieving data from org number one let's choose module account ok we should edit schema because we don't need many of those fields for example it's deleted created date owner id etc ok we delete unnecessary fields with red cross ok now be sure to select manual query guest query Guest query takes fields from this schema. Okay, we can see our external ID that we have just created. Now we need tmap, which is in processing. Okay, we should move a row, not trigger this time. We use row main. Uh, let's click on this name and left click again and wait rename it let's go to this map ok create new table control a track we have our fields mapped uh, one important step always delete id column ok now find external id and we don't want have external id to be mapped with external id we want to use id okay apply okay we need out so in salesforce this is salesforce output okay 
connect row map out one. Uh, where do we de deploy? To org number two. Okay, we have to choose module. It's account. Uh, we use absurd. We have absurd key column. This could be anything. Uh, this is a good idea to create another external ID that will be mm, indicating the absurd key. We will use external ID because we only use two orgs. If we would use three or more, we should have another field uh, to don't duplicate our data. Sync columns. Okay. Uh, Let's try to run this job. Okay, so we have our accounts upsorted. Okay, let's create job for contacts right now. Contacts job. Uh, let's copy these connections and this input because we have to requery that. So uh, now we have to query accounts from org number two because uh, those accounts have been updated, absorbed. Let's edit schema. And what we need is only ID and external ID. On account, obviously. But now we are deploying contacts, remember. We use hash. Uh, in technical folder we use hash output. Connect this. In hash output sync columns, uh, in account, obviously, click guest query after editing schema because otherwise it won't work. Uh, now, let's uh, use hash input, which is component that is mapped with hash output, but we have to use uh, edit schema manually. So, id external id. Okay. We have our accounts ready right now. Uh, there is an invisible link, I would say. Use input. Salesforce input. Okay. On subject. Okay. So this will be just contact query uh, from org number one, obviously. Let's find this module. Contact. Okay. Let's edit schema. So uh, we have to delete all unnecessary fields. So it's deleted. Okay. 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 Okay, now we are using team up again. Row main. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, map in one. Uh, how to rename once again because this is not really easy. We click once, we click twice, and wait. Okay, let's connect our. Uh, hash to map and call it accounts org2 okay go to the map create map out one obviously delete id column uh, next step remember external id this should be always id from org1 to external id on org2 Right now we have accounts or two table. We have to find our lookup name. Lookup to account has name account ID. So to external ID we should map map in one account ID. As we can see right now, we map uh, lookup ID from org one with external ID on org two, and we take ID from org two. 
So this is how we map relationships between orgs. We can't use ID because when we create account record on org number two, the ID will be different. So that's why we have to create external ID. Okay. Mm. So once again, in, let's take a look. Account ID. We can't put account ID, right? Because those are different IDs. We have to create a formula. So make sure that account ID is not null. Uh, this way. So we are sure now that this relationship is not empty and we will put ID from accounts or to accounts or to ID. Otherwise, put a null value. Apply. And now we need out. Salesforce output. Connect map out. Uh, we are deploying to org number two. We have to choose object, which is contact. Uh, we do the absurd. Let's sync columns. Uh, let's absurd by external ID. And let's run this job. As we can see, we moved contacts. And those contacts on org number two will already have a lookup to accounts configured in exact same way as it was done on org number one. And th this is how we deal with relationships. Of course, we can have much more relationships uh, in one job, but we just uh, do the same step by step. Okay, that's it.